What's up, YouTube? I'm Massive Gaia, and today I'm going to introduce a new series on my channel. It's called What Really Grinds My Gears. Now, what this series is going to be about is um, I'm going to talk about things that really grind my gears in either a negative way or in a positive way. Most of the time, it's going to be negative, and today is going to be negative. It's about cheating in Yu-Gi-Oh. Now, it's fucking like, you know, you hear about this guy got cheated in the Yu-Gi-Oh! Finals, this guy cheated, and, like, Mega Capital G was talking about it, and there were two instances at the Dragon Finals with some dude named Clayton, who apparently cheated by adding an extra card to his hand when he searched with Gear Guy. I'll put that video in the description below. And then there was this other guy who was using Japanese Miracle Fertilizer, and after he synchro with the monster that he brought back, he kept Miracle on the field. Now, of course, hypocritically, he put on Facebook that he was like, oh, it's not my fault, it was my opponent's fault, and then in the video, he's like, it's, I don't really fucking know, I'll just put in the description below, you guys can watch it yourself. But anyway, back to the original topic, it really fucking grinds my gears when people cheat, all because they know better. They Sometimes there is accidental cheating, where it's like, okay, your opponent forgot that you activated Soul Charge, and you attacked. Those things happen. That's accidental cheating. Both of you forgot that Soul Chart says you can't conduct your battle phase this turn. That was accidental cheating. You did not either remember or you forgot that it had that effect. And then there's per uh, purposeful cheating where they know that they're cheating just so they can fuck you up. Just so they can fuck you up. Now, I guess... Sometimes cheating is okay. If it's just a school competition and no one's really going to give two shits whether you cheat or not, then fuck, I don't give a fuck. But if it's like a major event like a regional or a YCS and you're doing shit, then you're going to get caught. Now, I'm not advocating cheating in any way, shape, or form. It is all the person's decision whether they want to cheat or not. Now, what I'm going to say to you is I recommend you don't cheat, but if you want to make that decision and go for it, if you don't get caught, more power to you. I do not give the slightest fuck. But I hate it when people cheat when they and they know that they're cheating, and they don't think I'm going to recognize it. Now, I have great attention to detail, and I know the effects of cards off the top of my head. If you ask me what... Uh, the trap counter counter does, I could tell you what it does. Or other, any other card for that, almost every other card for that matter. Now, with, like, let's say, for example, that you summon a Jinzo and your opponent bottomlesses, and you allow that to happen. That is cheating. When Jinzo is summoned, it's on the field when they have to be bottomless, therefore it negates the effect of bottomless. Now, if you just allow that to happen, one of two things is going on. One, your opponent's cheating and you're just a dumbass. Or two, both of you are dumbasses and both of you are allowing this to happen. Either way, stop cheating in its tracks and life will be better for all of us. Thank you guys for watching. I'll probably do a video about this either every day or every other day. Let me guys know what you want to hear about in the comments below. Anyways, thanks for watching. Subscribe and as always, be a better player.